This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 12 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I will be showing you how to install Windows 10 or any other Windows that you'd like onto any Intel Mac. This will be a brief video explaining what you need to do to set it up. Just a quick tip. If you are installing Windows 10, Windows 7, or Windows 8 onto a Mac Pro, especially one with more than 16 gigabytes worth of RAM or has more than one processor, you will want to only install professional or higher. This includes professional enterprise, if you can get a hold of it, and ultimate copies. Without professional or higher, you cannot use both of your processors, and for most part, you cannot use more than 16 gigabytes worth of RAM. Let's begin. We click Next, click Install Now. Setup starts up. We enter in our product key which I will be doing really quick. We now read our license terms. Yeah, right. Click Accept. Hit Next. Now we select Custom Install Windows Only. Now here, if you have more than one drive plugged into your Mac, you want to unplug those. This is because Windows, even on PCs, tend not to like installing on systems that have more than one hard drive plugged into them. Partitions, on the other hand, aren't a big deal. And if you are installing this on your main drive that also includes your OS X drive, you'll see the OS X drive, which in, in this case is this drive right here. But just don't mess with this partition. What you want to select is this boot camp drive. Now, the reason why this isn't already ready to install is because Apple OS X will only create file systems in either their file system or a FAT file system. FAT file systems are universal file systems that work between Windows and OS X. The thing is, FAT file systems cannot install a newer copy of Windows like an NT copy, which it would be anything after Windows 2000 or XP. So we select the boot camp partition right here and we select format. We hit OK and it formats. Now it is an NTFS file system, which means now we can install onto this partition. We click Next, and it starts installing. And I will come back to this video once it's all set up. And we are booted into the setup. This part's pretty self-explanatory, so I will not be covering this. But I will come back when I'm on the desktop. We are now on the desktop, and to show you that we are on a Mac, I will pull up system information. Mac Pro 2.1. Anyway, thank you for watching. And in the next video, episode 13, I will be explaining to you how to enable AHCI in Windows. This will allow your hard drives to run at full speed and enable trim support for SSDs. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.